Hi guys, my name is Rachel. I'm a health volunteer in Southeast Ambrim. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the bread making process in Vanuatu. Uh, bread is something that you're going to eat a lot of in Vanuatu, especially on Sundays. People like to make bread um, instead of cooking dinner and they just say they drink tea in the afternoon and eat bread with some hot water. Um, I pre prepared ahead of time because it's a little bit of a long process. I went ahead and mixed together some flour, sugar, yeast, and warm water and then you knead it a little bit and let it to rise. While your dough is rising, you also want to get your fire going. Um, when you're baking in Vanuatu, there's two different ways. Um, you can bake something in a saucepan, and that's on the stovetop or in a hole. Um, the stovetop is a little trickier if it's a cold day and there's a lot of wind. Um, it can cool down a lot. Um, most volunteers don't have a hole, but I do. You can't see because there's some ashes, but at the bottom of the hole it's lined with stones. Um, so after the fire has been burning for a while, the stones will be hot. You can also put some stones on top of the wood and heat stones for the top of the fire as well. Um, but that's not necessary for something something like a bread or a cake that doesn't take too long to cook if you were making um, a lap lap or a bunya, which you'll learn about later. Um, those take a little bit longer to cook, so you'll need stones for those. Um, to set up the fire, you want it to be burning pretty hot, so you put coconut shells in a circle. Coconut shells will make the fire not only burn hotter, but it'll make it light a lot quicker. <coughs> Then in the middle, uh, you need something to start the fire. Usually, most Nevians put hot coals in the middle, um, or you can get like a branch from a coconut leaf, a dry coconut leaf branch, um, and then I just use paper. Then there's small branches, and then you stack up. You need um, at least like four fairly large branches to make some nice hot coals. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and light this. take probably about a half an hour before it's ready to put the bread in there so after that's done rising I'll go ahead and show you a little bit of what it looks like to knead it and put it in a saucepan. Hey guys uh, so now we're going to knead the well I did knead the bread again and we're forming it into smaller little we're gonna make little baby loaves. Um, it's important when you put it in the pan that you put oil down first time uh, otherwise it'll stick to the pan and you'll never get it out. Um, in order to make the small loaves, you want to pound it out into a nice circle. And then you kind of just fold the edges over inward. Like this. Now, I didn't measure mine. I just kind of divided it so they're not perfectly the same size, but if you want to, you can always get a little cup and measure it so that they're all the same size. Also, mine's pretty spread out because this is a big saucepan, um, but feel free to push them in pretty tight. They'll still cook nicely. Okay, so we're gonna put the lid on it. Um, let's go check the fire and see if it's ready. Go. Okay, so as you can see, our fire's burned down pretty nicely. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and move right the wood that's still burning. Very hot. You want to thread the hot coals off the bottom. Also, usually you use um, fairly long wooden tongs, but mine are no good. So I'm just going to use my metal ones today. It's a little hot. Okay. Um, also, before you put the pan into the fire, I always put ashes on the top of the saucepan because everywhere that the hot coals are going to touch, there's going to be um, a black film, and I don't want to ruin the top of the pan. So you go ahead and set it in. 
Then you're going to put the hot coals on top. that we're gonna put some skin blue coconut some coconut husk on top that's gonna hold heat in and it's also gonna work um, as kind of a timing method so usually I'll put this on there and then when the coconut has burned down you know that the whatever's inside is finished cooking so we'll come back um, maybe 15 minutes and check it. Okay, so uh, I came back and checked this a couple times because the coconut husks were burned, but it wasn't done. So I put another one on there. But usually when they look burned like this is when you want to check it. Um, so we'll go ahead and clear this off as much as we can. Like this. And we've got some nice big bread. <laughs> 